Hey everyone, welcome back to Geek Strong. In today's video, we open more figures from the 2005 Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Galactus Wave in which Hulk won the vote to open. Let's do this. Okay, the winner for the Hulk to be open between live stream votes and Victor Diaz says, Open the Green Hulk. Before we open the Green Hulk, let's take a look at the Gray Hulk. So there's his face sculpt. Very awesome looking figure. So we will put him aside and let's check out the Green Hulk. So here's the packaging on the front of the Green Hulk. And we have the left arm of Galactus. Let's turn it around in the back. There's the back. And let's open this up. Here's a look at the front of the comic book. Pretty awesome comic book cover. Let's flip it around. Check out the back. Here we have the Hulk out of package. The Hulk stands approximately 8 inches high. I do like the detail of this Hulk. His face sculpt is pretty cool. And let's check out how he looks on the back side. There's the Hulk from the back. And let's flip him around. So he does have head bend. He turns that much. Arms go up like that. And they do twist that way. They do come in. They do have forearm twist. He does his fingers move because they don't have swappable hands so this pointer finger moves separately from the other three fingers and then his thumb actually moves too so we do have twist and we do have some crunch knee bends his toes bend this way like that so yeah overall I mean, for a 2005 figure, I think it's pretty cool. All right, let's check out the Build-A-Figure part. Okay, here we have the left arm of Galactus. So his fingers move. His thumb does not move, but we do have wrist. And some elbow bend. It doesn't seem like a whole lot unless it's stuck. But yeah, the detail is pretty good. Check out the size of this. Get the measuring tape here. And this hand is about five inches. All right, let's move on to the next figure. Bullseye. And there's the front of the packaging. Here is the back. So let's take this boy out of the package. Here is the front of the comic book, Daredevil, The Man Without Fear. There's Bulls, Bullseye and Daredevil. Pretty cool cover. Here is the back. Let's get a close look at the bio. Here is Bullseye out of package. Bullseye stands approximately six inches tall. Let's see, so his articulation is, oh, his head goes down pretty low, comes out that much, his arms spin, does have forearm twist, his hands move, toe bend, does have some pivot. Got some pouches here, little utility belt there, it's his back muscles. Yeah, pretty cool figure. Plain but cool. I actually kind of like it. 
right? Let's check out the delta figure part. It's the left leg of Galactus. Left leg stands approximately seven and a half inches tall. We do have some knee bend and no twist there. His ankle does move slightly. His toe moves like that. Overall details, not bad. Some shadowing a little bit. But pretty cool. Alright, let's move on to the next figure. Here is a last but not least from today's video is Nightcrawler. Here he is in the package. Flip it around. There's that. Let's take him out of package. Okay, here is the comic. I kind of like that. It's kind of cool. In front of the comic book. Flip it around. Check out the back. Can read that. Here is Nightcrawler out of package. Nightcrawler stands about six inches tall. Let's check out his articulation. So he does have arm bend there, fingers, both hands, his tail is bendable in all different positions and will stay. His head moves up like that. There. It does have a little bit of ab movement, but it doesn't stay. It's more like knee, so we can get in some good jumping positions. His toes actually move separately also the back part of his foot moves also. Here's the back of the figure. Yeah, pretty good figure. All right, let's move on to the builder figure part. Here we have the lower torso of Galactus. It's approximately five inches. See, we do have soft goods here somewhat. It's like rubbery all around. Not a whole lot of detail in the back. Do have some jewels in the front. No other movement, no. Okay, here they are, all stacked next to each other. Looking pretty awesome. Let's see how they compare to uh, today's Marvel Legend figures. Here we have Doctor Dooms standing next to him. Let's add some more. So my final thoughts, I am very excited to have these three into my collection. They might not scale perfectly with the new Marvel Legends, but I do love the look and feel of these older figures. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, do all that good stuff, and remember, we are all Geek Strong. Here we have a life-size fire and rocket Boba Fett. Very cool. Aliens figure and Wolverine and life size animated looks like an animated R2D2 in our you can see it, it looks like it's uh, I don't know six foot tall vintage Darth Vader very cool Jetpack Comics guys you can see a little bit better on the Boba Fett why they put a scarecrow or a uh, Harry Potter hat on them it's beyond me but so very cool and then there's the Darth Vader 
so very cool. I wonder if that's the uh, double extended lightsaber. I'm looking over here at the cars. Big ones. And look at that. Groundhog Day. <laughs> that's kind of cool. And just a repaint. Independence Day. Same vehicle. Different paint job. That's pretty cool too. Over here at Target and they have this pack here. It's pretty cool. Not quite sure how much that is. Is it? Maybe it's 30? Not sure. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Not sure if I'll pick that up, but I like it. So as I come over here at Walmart and I look at the Master of the Universe, I see these two new things. These are kind of cool. Ground Ripper with He-Man. What is that, the Rotond? That's actually really cool. Yeah, I think these are $9.97 each. Yeah, those are pretty cool. Won't be picking them up, but still cool.